Hey, what's up, everybody? Okay, this is a uh, Ford 2000 uh, 350, the big boy, big passenger um, V8 Triton. So I got a 5.4 Triton, but uh, <clears throat> doing some AC work. Okay, so this video, I'm just gonna focus on the Orifice tube. I'm doing a accumulator, also receiver dryer, but I didn't see any uh, videos on this particular vehicle. Uh, to do the orifice tube. The orifice tube is located right here. So here is this is actually the box for your evaporator right here. So you're looking at the engine right here, come right here, right here by your washer fluid <clears throat> between the washer fluid and the engine. This right here. So this is a 22 and this is a is it a 19? Yes yeah, a 19. 19 and a 22. And so you're just going to turn this counterclockwise and the orifice tube is in here. And this is what your new one looks like. Look at that old one right there. So the problem with this vehicle, we uh, put a um, compressor in there and it just wouldn't suck down the Freon. It was, I knew it had a clog in it. So really when you replace a compressor, you should replace receiver dryer, AKA accumulator and your orifice tube every single time you should just for good practice because I took out all the Freon out of the system. Well, I drained it out from right here just by pushing this down. So technically, it's supposed to not have any Freon, but then as I opened this up, then more Freon came out, a lot of it. So that let me know automatically that this was clogged up because all that Freon was coming out of here whenever I turned that counterclockwise. So remember to replace your orifice tube. To get it out, I used uh, these pliers right here. And I had to pull it out, like get a good grip. If you don't get a good grip on it, right here, if you don't get a good grip on it, it'll you'll break it and it'll get stuck in there. And then you have to get it out with a pick or something like that. Uh, but it was, it was a, look at that shit. That shit caked up in there. I mean, that shit was like totally clogged up. But anyways, 2000 E350, 5.4 liter. Uh, <clears throat> Ford van that's the orifice tube thank you for watching the video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and come with more videos